Don't let what we think is better ruffle your feathers. Opinions like assholes and assholes like podcasts. Everybody, Everybody has one. one. This is the unfuckable podcast, man. It's the old block party, and we gonna shoot left to right in this motherfucker. We got straight shot, no brandy in this bitch. <laughs> we got my brother, you know what I'm saying? Straight, uh, shoot the fay Yego in this Yo. motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You got simply complicated in this bitch, old block in this motherfucker. You got to my right, my B mic. Mr. Brain Nino Green in this bitch, and we got none other than this motherfucker CDM Bezo, and none other. We got my guy, man, my favorite white boy in this motherfucker, man, Chuck in the back with the facts, man. Can we gonna get a, uh, an applaud this bitch? You know what I'm saying? And we gonna keep it going, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the first lady. And we gonna keep it going, man. Shout out to my fellas, you know what I'm saying? The fellas in here, man. We in this bitch, we in this bitch. For sure, for sure, for sure. So, how everybody feeling in here? Doing good. What we talking about? I feel good. Y'all feel good? <laughs> I'm all right, man. I'm cool. Respectfully, man. Listen, uh, before we, you know what I'm saying, I... Uh, we, uh, we get to these topics or whatever. I just want to start the podcast off with something real special. This is something that I just did not too long ago. Uh, it's a premiere, and then, you know what I'm saying, this call for her. So, you know what I'm saying, when we get done, y'all tell me what y'all think about it, you know what I mean? We're going to tune in. What? Hold on. Technical difficulties. Hold on. You know what it is, right? Right, this shit crazy. This shit crazy. I know someone told me to do that. Conversation. You know what's crazy? I can't even lie. Lately, you've been the only thing I've been thinking about. The way we kick it, the way we touch that look you give me when I'm deep inside. The way you squint your eyes, you lick your lips like I. She thinking of me, then I guess a call. I spread her thighs and give it as meat. I touch her walls. When I perform, she make it clap, giving applause. The cookie monster in the flesh come up off them draws. You have. Can't make love unless we naked. I give her angles. She call me daddy. She know I makes her take it. This dick got a sweat. Ain't no running. She know exactly how I'm gunning. Yeah. She know exactly how I'm coming. I make her wonder why I do her like that. Then repeat. I touch the bottom. She taking my babies. That's knee deep. Seems like yesterday, but it's been three weeks. Well, that's how she make it seem like when she see me. 80 in the 60, we smoking. Gone off this liquor. Left leg on my shoulder, I choke her. She tell me, get it. She getting wet and she almost dead. I can feel her clenching, then she bursting at the end. I hear O'Shea, a nigga. <laughs> You yeah, fucking with that brother? That's definitely hot as fuck, too. So, so the man, only I thing I wish you would have done is, like, the in-between verses, I wish you would let that sample do what it doing without the talking. Respectfully. But that's just me. That's just me. 
I like that. For I like sure. that. I take that. I take that. I love the criticism, Mike. But you know, I, I, again, I asked for your opinion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, everything else, solid. Respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I see yeah. what she's saying too. But I kind of like talking. Yeah, I, I was Pinky fucking shit. with it. As soon as I, heard, I was like, freaky ass nigga. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, lean, so lean it. into it though. So you try to that might be that might be the new lane that, for oh, you, no. freaky music. Hey, you still, what you say you trying to give her a horse yeah. dinner? A new, <laughs> new, new school. New, what do you say? <laughs> new school loop, man. I'm fuck. I ain't gonna lie. I'm fucking definitely with got a horse dinner for you. <laughs> Ooh, you nasty. <laughs> Rallies, checkers, straight drive through me. You hear me? <laughs> Happy birthday to Old Block's daughter, matter of fact. Let's get him back to being on. <laughs> Happy birthday to Old Block's daughter. Happy birthday to baby girl. Oh, uh, yeah. Shout out to my daughter Mimi, man. My, my baby turned 14 today, man. Shout out to my brother Diarco, who couldn't be here today, man. Because this lady y'all. had his, her birthday today, too. So we hoping y'all enjoying yourself and having a safe, you know what I'm saying, evening. Uh, y'all ready to get into these topics? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Man, period. Let's go. Let's go. So, judge rules Brianna Taylor's boyfriend caused her death, throws out major charges against ex Louisville officers. Story reads According to reports, a federal judge has dismissed major felony charges against two former Louisville officers accused of falsifying the warrant that led to Brianna Taylor's death. U.S. District Judge Charles Simpson ruled that Taylor's boyfriend's actions, not the warrant, were the legal cause of her death. The charges announced by Attorney General Merrick Garland in 2022 alleged that Joshua James and Kyle Meany had knowingly falsified the warrant, placing Taylor in danger. Uh... Me personally, I'm just going gonna, gonna to start this off and let everybody else get their runs in. But I, it bothers me that this is a fight that we're going to, again, I said this before, though, this is an ongoing fight that we're going to continue to have to fight. Because at some point, they're going to make it seem like we got somewhere, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor happens, we get nowhere. There's no justice. What you say last week? This is your ju- your justice system. This is our yep. justice system. So you know what I'm saying. To have any faith in it, man, is is it's like it's it's shooting the dice. It's, it's a it's a gamble, because the same again the same charges we can all walk in with the same charges, and all of us is not guaranteed to walk away with the same consequences. For sure, we pay them for them. To know you know what I'm saying. And them. these is our tax dollars that you're paying these judges, you're paying these police officers who are doing this shit. And us as a people, it is more of us than it is them. We empower them to be in these positions that they are in, and we bitch and moan and complain about certain shit. But it is up to us to change that narrative. And it bothers me though that this woman ha- is lost her life sensely to a person who was who had took an oath to protect her. And we all know that the facts is there that it was a falsified warrant. But you want to place the blame on this black man. And when ten, and this is in Memphis, so Tennessee is... No, it was Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah, Louisville, Louisville, yep. Kentucky. <laughs> uh, that's a, 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 common, a, a common common wealth. That day is racist mm-hmm. than a motherfucker down there. They put mm-hmm. the time on you that they want to put on you. You know what I'm saying? It so like it's, it's, it's it, you know, they, they everything they set there. They are set up to protect each other. And <clears throat> my condolences to the family. You know what I'm saying? And in, 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 in regards to this situation, uh, I hope though that some justice do come to y'all. And at some point, uh, I hope the fight doesn't stop. I hope it continues uh, and that God protects y'all along our journey in this manner. But the floor is to, to the rest of y'all. All right. So real quick, I want to say her name, Brianna Taylor. Let's do a little moment of silence. All right. So listen, this sounds like a professional hit to me. Falsified warrant, knew they was going to do a knocking advice. Know the boyfriend would be there, probably be armed. Like, this all sounds planned to me. Like, that sounds like premeditated murder by the biggest gang in America. <laughs> mm-hmm. Say that. And then you asked them to prosecute themselves. And this is what we got. But wouldn't he be the target if that was the case? Who? The boyfriend. No. <clears throat> They just know he got a gun. It's registered. He owns it legally. So on that basis, the knocking advice is going to sound like a burglary. 
for breaking and entering, something like that. He's going to defend himself, and we're going to legally murder. They, they hope to murder him and her, but they only got her. But I don't think he was the target anyway. I think it was Breonna Taylor. And what would she be? The t- why? Why would she be the target for something like that? See, now I, that's in the specifics that I can only speculate. But I mean, then again, like I said, this is a Commonwealth state. How else would you get away with a racist murder like this, and then you know, get it swept under the rug? You know what's crazy that he say that that's a Easy Commonwealth state. That, though. You remember a couple of weeks ago, y'all said I can't remember if it was you or if it was Jago, but y'all said y'all seen five people go to court for the same charge. And every last person in there got a different charge. I mean, they got a different sentence. And I use that as an analogy. I was saying us five can go into a, a courtroom with the same charge and come out with a different sentence. Ohio damn near moved like a commonwealth when it comes to stroking people. On that, we have the so uh, to and we have the biggest uh, uh, recidivism rate in America. And recidivism is inmates who leave and come back. Right back. Mm-hmm. Word of the day, y'all. Right. Mm-hmm. Refitis- like say it again. Recidivism. Recidivism. This is like so we, are, we are the we are the biggest Don't say, don't in, laugh in, Chuck, in, say in, it. Say in, it. In, it. In America, did I say it right? Recidivism. Yeah, he said it right. I, I, I he said it too right. Go can on, you Chuck. can you fact check <laughs> me cuz I want to make cuz I but if I'm mistaken, Ohio is the biggest as far as incarceration rate. I think it's we, like 80% type shit. I done picked a nigga up from jail and they done came outside to get him and take him back in the jail. That's why. Reci- no cap. It's he recidiv- get away recidivism. Recidiv- recidivism. With a D, not a T. Well, I didn't. Well, I didn't. Ref- I recidivism. I used put, recidivism. You put the T. Recidivism. Yeah, recidivism. What you said. <laughs> like when I was, so when I was just in there on, on that PV, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? There was a guy that came here. This how this how fuck. This is the ju- double jeopardy that the judicial system has too, though. Uh, it was a guy that was in there, and this, and a couple of people was like this. Uh, he had caught a gun case, mm-hmm. and the feds picked it up. So he did fed time. So when he walked out of it from doing this fed time, the state was right there to pick his ass up, and he was in Lorraine with me, and they turned around and stroked his ass for the same fucking time for the same charges he just got from the feds. So fact check real quick. According to Google, it's actually Missouri of 2024. Oh, okay. Okay. So we just well, that's an update. Well, that's we, what we, we we've been we've been dethroned. I can check we top, top three. I can check if we top, but. Back to that case, though, we have to also, oh, so the re- how they trying to blame it on a boyfriend is because basically they was doing the warrant and as soon as they came in, the boyfriend opened fire, but y'all did a no-knock warrant. Right. So, it, and it was a falsified warrant. So, of course, like, if I'm hearing somebody trying to break it to my shit, what of course, my I'm going to be... I'm going to be startled. Like, I'm going to open fire, too. You feel me? So, the system is, is, is jacked up. They're using him... To basically as a scapegoat, because he also when he had you know started shooting, he actually actually uh accident well accident he actually did it, but uh, he shot an officer in the leg. So they using they using him as a a clean up clean up person. Yeah, and it, it's it's amazing how the black people are always the fall guy. It's rare. It's rare you will get a you know what you say. What, it's it's make crazy, it man. Hmm. It's what they do. When I think about do the same shit. Facts. When I think about um like what you said, like how it could possibly be a hit and how be it always take me back to old boy's girlfriend that could died at Walmart. Talking about Tasha and uh and John. Yeah. John John Crawford. John, yeah, John Crawford. Exactly. So yeah. because she was supposed to go to court and testify testify she ended against up dying. them. In a car chase, in a, a police chase. chase, and it, so some, so like I like I know Tasha, like I I, I knew her too. You know what I'm saying? I, I used to date her, and uh, no, nah, for real though. Freaking so <laughs> I wasn't I was locked up when that. Well, right before I had got locked up at a point in time, that had happened. So while I was locked up, she was doing interviews and all of that type of stuff, and I once I was told that she had that, I felt like it was something fishy behind that because how they described, mm-hmm. they said, it, like, 100 miles on Broadway. On Broadway. She was supposed to testify. On Broadway. Like, like, a, days. Couple, like, like, like a couple like days prior days to that, she was supposed that. to have been testifying or something. 100 miles on Broadway. 
Yeah, that don't make sense. What are you running from? What are you running for? Run, it, yeah, that part. Because it was her and somebody else. She was, right. a, she was a passenger. She wasn't even driving. Mm. That's crazy. Mm, mm, mm. So, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 so that whole situation is, it, 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 like, it just, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. But, again, this is our judicial system, and they do things to cover each other up, and they going to do that shit. And the law is made, really made for them. It works for us to an extent. But we got to go far and beyond and make that even a factor. What Michael Jackson say? They don't really care about us. <laughs> All right, so look, before we go to another topic, I got to ask y'all, what is the most fucked up running you done had with the police or the court system in general? Man, I got arrested off my porch because they thought I was my mom's boyfriend. <laughs> wow. Because he, he ran from him earlier in the day, and I had just got home, and I watched the motherfucker drive past. I said, yeah, they look like they on some bullshit. I was locked out. I was waiting on my mama to get there. Motherfuckers came around the crib, guns on me. Them near stole on me and everything. Damn. Damn. Sons of bitches. <laughs> Respectfully. No disrespect. I hope they die and they burn in hell. I say probably when my dude got shot. But I went off on him because he was a victim. And we had told him, like, the person that shot him, you know, he ran off and everything. The gun had jammed. The nigga was even on the side of the house trying to look for the clip and everything. But anyway, once the police got there, they all up in his face talking about, where's your gun? Where's your gun at? I went clean off on their ass. And I went off on the sheriff on the news, too. But they, they cut me out. Mm. What about you, BZ? I got choked out. Oh, shit. Well, that ain't I, funny. I'm sorry. I, ain't mean, I, I just was, I was 17. I was, I ain't gonna lie, it was my homie's birthday, and I was drunk. We was drunk as fuck off uh, Ciroc. And they caught me for curfew. And I'm like, bro, come on, bro. I literally got like six months. Until I'm 18, he's like, well, we'll take it. it was Hooper, man. So I'm talking shit the whole way down there, and it's like, it's like maybe seven or eight like little preteens, like they like 11, 12, 10, and they in this motherfucker shook, scared straight. They they keep telling them like, yeah, you ain't going home, you going to jail tonight. I'm listening to these little motherfuckers cry, bro. Like I'm like, hey, ain't none of y'all going to jail. Y'all mamas and your daddies is all on the way. They take me to the room. Hooper come out like, oh, you think you's a smart ass? I'm like, man, come on, bro. Y'all ain't got to. Y'all already got them scared, man. Which I keep fucking. I don't want to hear that shit. This nigga like, pat, pat. I'm like, oh shit. Damn. So, so we, I square up, man. This nigga pat me again. He choked me smooth out. Like, yeah, nigga, you little light skinned niggas is pretty. Oh <laughs> wow. Hey, oh what? shit. Hey, Damn. listen, listen. He brought me right there to the point where you about to, and then he like, nah, wake your bitch ass up. Your mama on the way too. I'm like, oh shit. Oh hey. shit. I said I'm not going back to jail. I'm not doing it. That was just at the precinct. Oh, wow. Hey. Oh, wow. That was just at the precinct. East day. Oh, hey, caught me right there by Kroger's and uh, Esther Price's. Right there. Hey, I was <laughs> sick. I know exactly where you Hey, going. I stayed on Illinois. I was right up the street. I was salty. And we Damn. had just walked down to go get some more chaser for the liquor. <laughs> <laughs> my homie see, hey, my homie see me. He like, hey, you look fucked up, nigga. You straight up like hell, nah. Hey, bro, that nigga Hooper got hands. He like, oh man, that's fucked up. You fought that girl, that nigga, because Hooper, <laughs> Hooper not little. He like six four. Crazy. Nino, you ain't got no you, run this. I'm the one to ask the question. I I'm want everybody else to go. Well, shit, I'm a, so I got a, quite a few, but I'm gonna we say just, it. <laughs> I, I just, I'm, my latest, uh, not a, my latest, my latest, my son. So it was a situation. My son, um, I got three kids that just came up here from Florida, and it was some bullshit that happened. How many kids to you a got? Fight. Father Abraham, remember that. So hold on, what's the answer to that? Father Abraham, remember hold, that. Who is Father Abraham? I am. How you doing? <laughs> so in regards to this matter, I got three kids that I just moved up here from Florida a couple of months ago. So that makes how many up here? One, two, Enough. Three, four, five, <laughs> so, um, so. Five plus five? It was racial profiling involved. Okay. So make a long story short, we would have went to court. I didn't know it was like a, a trial date, but uh they ended up uh creating a plea for my son. Uh because he was a, he had allegedly did something to some boy. But um the judge tried to make it seem like the plaintiff were the only victims in the room. 
So when they asked for the parents to speak, you know, about the situation, I spoke up. I said, you know, I feel like this is a situation that got out of hand. We're dealing with teenagers, you know what I'm saying, anger or whatever. It could have been resolved a whole different way. But the same way that I correct my son and tell him how to handle a situation is the same way that these people need to teach their son on how to address and approach people. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Not to mention, what area were they in when this took Fairborn. place? Fairborn. This is Green County. <sighs> So, there we go. So when so when I say this to the judge, she like, oh so uh, no, sir, care. we're going, we're not going to uh, victimize. I'm like, what? So you're telling me that the only because my son don't have a criminal record, my son don't ain't did nothing. He, was he just moved up, but he just moved up here. Never sundown. been, never had handcuffs put on him. To the sun downtown. Until he got up here and was accused of something that turned out to be absolutely true. You got to think Fairborn is a military area. You know what I'm saying? Like he Not went, only that, ex sun downtown. At the sun downtown. So I, 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 I wasn't aware of that. Ah. Thank you for, for the information. But I knew that Fairborn was some bullshit because Green County, Green County is some bullshit. Is the absolute worst. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So for the judge to sit here and try to make it seem like that my son's mom doesn't feel no type of way about how her son is being treated. I, now, this is my son. I'm the dad. But she's the mom, though. Mm-hmm. Her baby boy just got put in cuffs and was racially profiled. So you telling me her feelings don't matter? Because she's the on the accusing side. They don't really care. And so that, because they had to, like, try to tell me to calm down. I was ready. To, I, I you can lock me. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to defend mine. You tripping. You're not gonna do that. Mm-hmm. Right is right and wrong is wrong. I don't give a fuck what position you in. But that's my, that was my most recent uh, when it comes to police or judges and shit. So I was on the east side. Right. Oh shit. <laughs> this was like. So you had to say it was east side. I was probably like 18, maybe. Dang. Nah, I was like. 16 because I still stayed off Corundo. It was before I moved into my apartment. Long time ago. So um I was on the east side hustling. Damn. But I sold out my crack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. So now I'm on my way to the bus stop. Right. The police pulled up on me and asked me, What are you doing over here? This one the east side was really mm-hmm. the east side when niggas really didn't belong over there. You feel me? They asked me what I was doing over there. My cousin's baby mama lived over there. <clears throat> so I'm like, I'm over here seeing a family member. And they asked uh, the family member's name, and I told her. And then was, he said, what's her last name? And I was high. Really? Didn't <laughs> think quick on my feet. So I got quick on my feet. <laughs> Start running, right? So they, they came around the corner, jumped out, chased me, grabbed me, threw me on the ground. Groped me on some Terry Crew shit. Oh man. Took my money, all types of shit. Put my head into the into the pavement and then left me there. Mm-mm-mm. Them boys could have killed you. <laughs> Damn, nigga, you should have said Jackson. That's the first last name. Uh, last name Jones. <laughs> yeah. Brown. Jones barbecue foot massage. Man, man. I wasn't trying to put that much effort into it. Like I Green. said, I was high. He said, I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> 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 yeah. He said, "What's the last name?" Quick. <laughs> so, so since we on the subject of these police officers and shit and tragedies, we're well, gonna get on to the next one. Y'all tell me what y'all think of this one. Damn. Rice University student is reportedly killed in apparent murder suicide on first day of classes. Damn. Story reads: A junior student at Rice University at Rice University in Houston, Texas, has reportedly been killed in an apparent murder suicide. According to CNN, a concerned family member requested a wellness check be, form, uh, be performed on Andrea Rodriguez, Rodriguez, Rodriguez mm, excuse me, uh, Avila on Monday, August 26. The student had uh, reportedly missed the first day of classes. Furthermore, when officers arrived at Avila's dorm, they discovered that she was, de- she was deceased. 
Boy, you sound like Webby's trying to say Rodriguez. Hey, this is a hell of a name. It's a hell of a name. It's a hell of a name. McGain. Charlotte. Angela Lee and Charlotte McGain. God damn, it's a Rodriguez. Charlotte McGain. Nah, that's fucked up, though. Yeah, but respectfully, though. That's absolutely terrible. Like, you could have killed yourself by yourself. D nice. Boy, this pie's sad today. It's a lot of shit going on, man. Like, cause we, cause we turn on our news, and again, like we, and it's crazy because this goes back. It's like I want to say, either it was last week or the week before, when I uh, when we was talking about the the uh, the kid that had got shot by the Dane police officer. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I told Bees, I'm like, shit, I barely watch TV. I barely watch the news because. My life is fucking news. Like I'm always invested in what's going on around me, and you know what I'm saying. That I, not that I'm trying to be ignorant or oblivious to somebody else's life, saying they shit don't matter. But I be too caught up in my own shit. But this shit don't get talked about. Any other time, they be you know what I'm saying. Mass shootings at somebody's school or whatever, or something that happened, we hear about it. I think nah, what it sure. is, it's like I'm tired of hearing. All the sad news. I want to hear some good news. Yeah, it's once. like we don't got nothing prosperous going on in the city. Yeah, they they Jeez. broadcast. Did y'all see? Hey, shit it's and whisper, the, and whisper people's success. Fuck y'all niggas talking about this football season. Not for sure. I mean, but outside of sports, what do we have to praise anybody for, bro? Oh, That's what I mean. Like this shit is like, and for every news report that we see on the news, I got this um, news break app on my phone. It's like five things that happen that they don't report on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Ain't nothing is. on the news but the blues. Like what do he say? All right, so I I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Oh wait, you about to go into another topic? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, before you do that. I got one thing I can say is good. Did y'all see Yellow Pain on the um, Hollywood Unlocked uh, Awards that I they got next time? I did not. I missed that. I didn't see that. Yeah, we had a oh. date native on on a, uh, a highly acclaimed award show now. Man, well, shout out to my man. Yellow motherfucking pain. Congratulations, sir, for doing it once again. Salute to Lieutenant. Holding Jim City down. Take us to the mountaintop, brother. Just come back and get us. Don't Sal- trust Jason Lee, though. Salute to Lieutenant, man. Just had to say that. Who? Jason Lee. Jason Lee, the owner of Hollywood Unlocked. Don't okay. trust him. Okay. All right. So this is the last sad story. You probably you know what I'm saying. I just don't believe it. But it's, it's just <laughs> crazy how shit be happening. So I be feeling like we got to, because it be, it, it brings, it ties and it bring everything together, the things that we didn't talk about or what we questioned that may be or may not be that exists. The powers that be, that is. Oh. Uh, Mariah's, Mariah Carey's mother and sister tragically passed away on the same day. Hey, I ain't buying that shit. According to reports, Mariah Carey is dealing with an overwhelming loss. Both her mother, Patricia, and her sister, Allison, passed away on the same day over the weekend, TMZ has confirmed. In a statement to TMZ, the singer expressed, my heart is broken that I lost my mother this past weekend. Tragically, my sister also passed away on the same day. Our deepest condolences go, uh, condolences go out to Mariah and her family during this incredibly difficult time. Screw, what's wrong with your tongue, man? I don't, that's, I'm <laughs> cotton. <laughs> your tongue broke, nigga, man. Stop man, I'm free, telling free, y'all. Nah. Okay, yeah, go. Why you now? I just heard a you say. A year from now, if this bitch come out with another a diamond one, platinum a album, number one, a number one out of it's nowhere, tell it all, I'm gonna fucking it's, know something. gonna be called the Declaration of Mimi. Nah. Ooh. <laughs> hey. So you think that's why you said that? That you, you wasn't buying it? That's exactly why. You are the sacrifice. I don't know. Nah. Nah. So listen. Hey. All right. So dig this right. You, they thought you I gotta, was crazy when I was talking about active. Meg the Stallion. You got to keep active when you, you know what I'm saying, you in yeah. there. Uh, they knocking on everybody's door but mine. Uh, if you, if, I if got you three a, family members. If you're a real Mariah Carey fan, <laughs> a.k.a. a lamb, you yeah, know, like, her sister was a drug addict and everything. Mm-hmm. I'm going to just say was allegedly, but it's that out there. That made it even easier. It's but it's out there. But her yeah. sister was, you know, and she'd been going to the tabloids and everything about Mariah for years. Mariah could have been off her for a sacrifice. Hey, that made it even easier when it was time to do it. I mean, if you just die after you talk a shit about me, that's, el- that's a little okay. too obvious. I'm Can a, I ask another I'm question? Gonna let the beep, I'm going to let the beep uh, break. Can I ask another question? Go ahead. What 
what what sacrifice do Mariah need to do? She has she has ten top she has top ten hits. Ain't no telling. She has hey, something she's, else coming. Da- she's damn near sixty. She don't need to do nothing. Every Christmas she gets a bag. She's goaded. She Ain't does no not telling. have to do anything. Mariah is damn near about to be Ain't on a no ventilator telling. in a nursing home. Man, listen, no they'll coming. take all that shit. And she got them twins. We'll leave you in and the her. The twins ba- is gonna be the, the I'm just the next I know. I'm, I'm just saying, we don't know what's going on behind go. closed doors. We understand what her accomplishments are. I'm not saying what, I'm not mm. saying that. Hold on, bro, hold on, bro, hold on. How old is Dolly Parton? How old is she? Old as fuck. Hey, don't do Dolly like that. But she, she definitely she is, older though. than She Mariah definitely Carey. older than Mariah. That bitch pushing like 80. Mariah is 55 years old, saying she's about to be on the ventilator. It's wild. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> Dolly Parton. <laughs> I, I, I 78. Notes. She's 78 years old, still doing shows. Facts. Still doing samples. Facts. Yeah. Just like Mariah. Mariah really, I mean, she doesn't have to have no sacrifice on nobody, y'all. You got that big, big. We ain't think Kanye big, did big neither. Energy. Bro, that's Shit. what I'm saying. That nigga's Eminem's mama gone. Eminem just Kanye dropped the album. To, to listen, Mariah. listen, Eminem just dropped the album. Shit, Jennifer Hudson for that matter. What the fuck is he still rapping for? He got top they, tens. They say that that he's the most famous now despicable. that he's ever been. That exactly. Shit, and that shit is despicable. Very much so. Like, who else are we talking about? It's I'm too many people to sacrificing their families for this Mariah dollar. ain't got to do that, y'all. I ain't she, saying that she I think did. She's too far ahead in her career. Now, y'all saying it like she in her prime. How, how prime. ahead is too far ahead? Jay Z had to do every it. Every year, Kanye you ain't got to do, do nothing it. but put out the same fucking Lil song. Lil Wayne had to do and it. And get a bag? So listen. Let's say on the other flip of the coin, this has absolutely nothing to do with sacrifice. With conspiracy theory. And let's let's it's just say, loss. for instance, that she really just lost her mama I'm and her so sister at the that, same that's some time. Sad ass shit for sure. I mean, it's, that, it's sad regardless. That is a, a hard pill to swallow. It is. And, and it's a lot of loss the, at once. And the reason I'm going to say it's possible, because when he first came home from jail, no lie, this man was at a funeral. Every week for like six weeks straight. You know, facts. It's okay. possible. I'm talking about somebody died, then her best friend died right behind her. Then that was just recent. Especially possible if you like, live in Chicago. Like so, that was just recent. All we everything we saying is just speculative. Specute. You know uh, what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I didn't cop the screw. I didn't cop the screw in this yeah, month. Yeah, yeah, this guy's tough but y'all, broke too. But y'all, get, but y'all get what I'm saying, like so. If that's not the case, if that's not what's going on, condolences. But if it is, I'm going to mind the business that paid me. Respectfully, man. So we're going to get on to this next topic. (sighs) Arkansas woman charged after two kids reportedly ate marijuana gummies at her in-home daycare. Report says an Arkansas daycare on name Tamantha McPherson has been hit with multiple charges after doctors found traces of marijuana in blood in the blood of two children who were enrolled at her facility. I'm you hoping stupid, she, irresponsible I'm, bitch. I'm hoping she thought it was melatonin. You stupid, no. irresponsible bitch. No. I'm hoping she thought they was melatonin gummies and she just wanted them to have nap time. So she wanted them to have my, nap time for sure. My, so I know as a parent, and this is, I, I think I speak for all parents. Chuck, be ready. We have had some type of lapse to where we may have forgotten something. Oh, yeah. We Or we forgot to put something up or you feel what I'm saying? Or pick somebody up or whatever. Like it's been some type of lapse. <laughs> it's something going on. <laughs> you like, I'll, like, I'll, you like, I'll put that in there. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Dude. I'm whipping this motherfucker. Let me that, land. You know? Quit playing. Let me land. What was that? So, anywho, it's a lapse, right? And depending on that lapse determines on the backlash that one may get, determined depending on the outcome of it. Okay. Right? So, let's play devil's advocate. Okay. All right. My favorite game. This woman has a successful daycare, whatever, because she has business, right? And she likes to get high. She might not like the smoke, but she keeps the gummies. And she got the kids coming over, and she forgot that they was on the the the, the stand next to the, the love seat or some shit. What did I say at the beginning? 
You stupid, stupid irresponsible ass. ass, dumb ass bitch. I'm not trying to hear that. I'm I'm saying, but we hey, again we all somebody but we've all had a lap. See, the only thing is she uh, didn't got caught and it nigga, was marijuana. Nah, that's 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 respectfully. Yeah, fact. We had a lapse with our kids. Yeah. She's I might have a lapse with your kid. All right, so look. <laughs> <laughs> So somebody paid her to drug her kid? Hell nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be professional. Don't be doing that shit at work. Yeah. You can't wait till you get off hey, work to get high. It's better when you off work to so get smooth. high. She, who said she did it before she, uh, it, while she was at work? It could have been before. She just forgot Don't to put be, it up. It's response. It's not. You know how you clean it up and you just, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, oh, I forgot that. Don't do it before she work. She could have been moving. You know what I'm saying? Don't just do move it at too work. Fast. All right. I'm just, you know. I said what you said. I said play devil's advocate. I got a question. I said play devil's advocate. Now I want everybody to give me an example of a time that you might have had a lapse when it comes to your children. Can I go first? What you yep. mean by uh, explain lapse? Okay, like you might have set something down. You might have forgot to put your gummies up, or you might have forgot that you know. Or right, so you might be time. late to pick somebody up, something like that. So one time, when I was uh, when I was a drug addict on Xanax bars. And I lived in Northland for two weeks. You sound so dumb. <laughs> hey, I lived in Northland North, for two weeks. Northland right? off the same. <laughs> hey, bro, crazy. Hey, 2016 ahead, was crazy work. But um, so yeah, right. So I get up, I do my daily routine, you know, get myself together, wooty wooty whoop, shower wooty whoop, and get up out of there. And then I get to where I'm going because now it's time to take these pills I got. And it's time to, and I got seven pills. Well, I know I had eight. You feel me? I had seven pills on me. I'm like, bro, I could have swore I had eight. I know I ain't take one last night. I'm very cautious with these motherfuckers. So I know how many I had. And this bitch called me talking about, hey, what the fuck is this that my son and you're sucking on? Ah, okay. We might need to uh, take that out for children's service. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck, <laughs> hey, I, <laughs> no, Diddy. Yeah, we need to take. We, yeah, yeah. It's a pill. What are y'all talking about? Oh, we the, understand. The little, little kid was. Two of them was, double, hey, yeah, I'm double, double backing because you know I didn't say nobody's names, and this was years ago. So fuck it. That kid is perfectly okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that kid is perfectly okay, but yeah. Hell no, she man. called me talking shit about the, the pill that her son was damn near about to eat. And so I'm like, what? Well, hey, don't, don't let that nigga go to sleep. No time yeah. soon. Facts. I can tell, tell my story because my son at the time was, was he 17? Well, that's his fault. I mm. didn't do that. But my son was already smoking weed, though. But Damn. I had some chocolates. It was like uh, I had like maybe about eight or nine of these chocolates, but they was wrapped up individually, like in like a little metallic gold, metallic uh, burgundy, all that type of shit. So I had them in the freezer. Jordan has a real bad problem. I always, mom, before you get home, bring something sweet. Man, fuck all that. That's you on that damn video game. Bring home something sweet. So I guess he had grabbed them, and the nigga was asleep for a damn near about a whole day. That was wasn't chocolate, son. I wish they was laxative, so you could have learned your lesson. Ooh, dirt ball. Yeah, because you didn't even know what the fuck they was. You just eating shit and putting your hands on shit that don't belong to. So see, I ain't gonna lie, like and so my real first introduction to some edibles. Oh, I thought you was about to say but your laps. Go ahead, speak on. Nah, you. my first real introduction to some edibles was last year when I had came home. I'm over, I come over. I come over to my sister's house, right? Right. And there's some brownies on the motherfucking stove. Mm. It's always the brownies. It's always the brownies. Just do it. I don't come. I, you know, hey, what's up, nephew? You know what I'm saying? I don't, hey, brownie. I didn't go in the kitchen or whatever. I took one, bit it. I'm like, damn, this bitch hitting. I just smacked three of these motherfuckers and walked away <laughs> with another one. I just sat down at the table. Robbing them like, and, hey, cuz who did ate these brownies? I'm like, shit. They me? look at me. They like, Uncle Shad. Them, uh, them, them got that. Them got weed in it. I'm like, oh Boy, shit. They like, how many did you eat? I'm like, bro, this is like my fourth one. Damn. And then ate that one. No lie. I'm like, I'm like this at the table. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Down goes Fraser. I ain't so, know what the fuck was going so on. Listen, I want to tell <laughs> this time, so, right? 
Yeah, be careful what y'all pick up and eat. I went with a great group of guys to this thing called the Cannabash, right? <laughs> they had a sleep. Hey. And we was at the Backpack Boys, right? Right. And listen, you know, we're in here and we're indulging in adult activities. <clears throat> and then one of my adult friends, mm. they checked their bank account. You know, shit adults do. Like, what I got to play with? Hold up, swole up. Damn. I done got here for like $400 from the room. This is a mistake. Mm. He walks out. He spends a good 15, maybe 30 minutes on the phone. We get to the bottom of it. They said we smoked marijuana in the room, which was a lie. Ooh. False and We had marijuana in the room, which you could smell the difference between burnt marijuana and raw marijuana. So the manager had to walk to the room, and then he verified, oh, yeah, it smelled like weed, but it's not that y'all smoked. Boom. So, you know, that takes seven to ten business days. Those well, are facts. To get that money back. So my good friend, he was stressed, to say the least. So um What he say he was doing? He said he was stress eating. Stress eating is the term he put it. <laughs> and when I tell you my man banged um seventeen Damn. 20 hold on, hold on, hold on. milligram gummies. Break that down, break that number down again. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right, so listen. This pack had uh eight it had twenty gummies total. He had eight two the previous day. So he ate eighteen gummies. <laughs> And they were Damn. 20 milligrams a pop. Like another perk, mm. perk angle. <laughs> man, when I mm. tell you, my man's might as well smoke like damn near a 3 herb 5 angle. dabs. Yeah, herb angle. Hey, when I tell herb you. Herb angle eye, is crazy. <laughs> hey, his eyes was That's like. That's sweet, though. And this pouring rain, we on the way back from Michigan. He like, I got to pull over, guys. I'm like, you know, you unreasonably calm to be pulling over, bro. What? Are your eyes open, sir? Damn. And, yeah, and at one point I didn't know if we was gonna make it. I'm like, he's too, he's too controlling to oh. to let yeah, us let drive. somebody else drive. Yeah, so yeah, the dude. We're gonna good. have to take a nap with him, <laughs> but he got us home. He got mm. us home. Is that how yeah. I got to see your mouth wide open? Now, that was Different way. Oh, no, that was way before, before that. that. That was way before. That was that. like I don't know when they got him. But that yeah. was way. That after. was, that was way like back. the day before. Yeah. BC okay. Was like, that was yeah. way after. You too. That oh, guy, YouTube, yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. That, that shit, juice. I have never been that high in my life, bro. So it was you, man. I, that, nigga, you we, know. Listen, was <laughs> we was all we was already here. I'm sitting in front of the house. He called me like, bro, where you at? I'm like, I'm sitting in front of your house. He said, bro, I, bro, I was so. I, I, was, I saw a tree fall in the middle fuck? of a street. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It that was shit. raining and storming like a motherfucker. When you didn't even back. see. Oh, you didn't yeah. even see or hear the tree. All right, hold, on, hold on, wait. Tree falls in the woods. We Nobody we telling stories yeah. about shit that we forgot or we had a lapse with our children. Respectfully. I'm gonna go or you can go. somebody else's children. <laughs> and or <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. and or somebody else's children. So one day. Um I had came in the house. You know, I got that cure egg maker. Mm -hmm. You know, my kids, they be using my shit. Making tea and all types of shit in my coffee maker, Ooh, right? Boom. Black girl tea. The hot chocolate before. <clears throat> yes. So, you know, you know the honey with the fucking bear on it. Uh, yeah. Huh? The bear body honey. Yeah. Yeah. They ran through that. Mm. So when I come in the house, they was at the cure egg maker. With the empty honey pack. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> now what a. <laughs> Hey, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> oh, don't do that, cause I'm about to say them niggas was around here like they was flexing. Hey, you hear me? But you know how? Fun, listen, I was just fucking with y'all. But just imagine how funny that would be, cause you you probably can't relate. But do y'all remember being in high uh, not high school, but like middle school or something? And your dick get hard at no the table reason. for no reason. I can't a strong breeze, bro. Just man, just what? Be like, and uh, you trying to? Uh, why are you doing this to me, bro? To Got a tuck him in your, in your to tuck in the waistline. Me. Yes, man, bro. <laughs> or push that motherfucker down to one side of the leg, like. 
<laughs> Fresh out of Tucky Mike You feel good. me? Look like, <laughs> look like you got a kickstand in your pocket. Like, please don't make but me stand just up imagine, Just imagine if that was a real story. Because you know that honey pack shit hey. be flowing in your system for about two days. Ooh, whiskey. Mm. Boy, Boy, that whiskey. would be hilarious. But no, I'm a, I'm, an, uh, I'm a good parent. I don't really, fuck, really don't fuck up with my kids. You know what I'm saying? All right. Anywho, anyway, so we're going to get on to this next topic, man. Listen. Uh, all right, yeah, 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 for sure. All right. All right, listen. So, man spends 5000 on liquor and pours it out for his dead homies. I can't wait to get rid After he buys it. Check We're getting this shit out. buddy. We're getting I mean, this buddy. Is, yeah, I mean, true. Me, too. Right, let's, let's, we'll get it for you. Yeah, we out here, nigga. Outside. We the motherfucking biggest. Y'all know what it is, nigga. We don't need thread, nigga. The motherfucking biggest. Dead homies, nigga. Dead homies. They come be here for it, nigga, man. I got to do it for them. That's how we putting on this shit, nigga. Oh. We doing this shit for the dead homies. That's 5,000 oh. on the floor, nigga. That's for my nigga F1. Rest in That's peace, you know, nigga. I'm from the 537, baby. J1, nigga. We the one, baby. Stop playing with us, nigga. You know how we do. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's <laughs> dumb as fuck to me. So listen, for for us brokies, you know, it's not in our... He just poured out a bottle of Louis the 13. Yep. Time $150 a shot. <coughs> Go ahead. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love y'all, but I ain't doing this. I hate being broke. <laughs> I love y'all, but I ain't doing this. They didn't even pour it on a grave site. They just, just on, poured it in the street. The creek. Hey. It's dumb to it's me. They just poured it in the parking lot somewhere. <laughs> it, it, it's really dumb to me. Like, I'm a very spiritual person and all that. You feel me? But let's be honest. Nigga, when we die, this this flesh is, 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 this is just a vehicle. This ain't nothing but a vehicle. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Nigga, your spirit trans, transfers to something else. That's what we believe in. Mm-hmm. The fuck I look like spending that and then dumping it on some ashes that you're not even you're not there no more. Your spirit has transcended into something else. I'm I wouldn't tell you. give a fuck if it was Paul Masson. I'm gonna tell you this. <laughs> we, didn't, Jay. we didn't drink it while I was alive. Don't waste it while I'm dead. Y'all better <laughs> enjoy that shit. You hear me? You hear me? I want to be frank. Since like, where did that even come from? Like it, West Coast hey, matter of fact, hey, check. out the forty ounce. I can you fact? Can you fix? Who like? What is? What is? What? What is symbolic about that? Who like? Where does that even originate from? Some niggas. Some it had to have been before. It's something like I, I, don't, I don't know, but that's just you know like because we because we, okay. we do it because hey. we do no, no, a lot no. of sh- hold on and take that back. In ancient Egypt, yep, I was about to say that it wasn't liquor; it was water. But they would dump water into the Nile River in honor of dead people. They did even more. They put their jewels. They put they if oh, yeah. their cat or something because they thought cats were very spiritual for the afterlife. They mummified the cat, put all it. I mean, well, centuries and centuries before that, they have always done that. So this, so this just falls back. There's nothing new under the sun. <laughs> wait, it's just a different wait. tradition, different Listen, style of. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Listen. Now, you know heard what I said, right? I said some nigga shit, right? Yeah. You know who was the Egyptian? <laughs> Niggas. Niggas. Yeah. <laughs> so, so <laughs> nigga shit. Nigga shit. All right, all right. We're going to get some more. We're going to keep this shit the going there, man. We're going to keep it on the comedy side, man. The nigga. Because my man Hulk Hogan. The Negro. Oh, yeah, brother. Said right. that right the brother of great, all brothers. Great, great segue. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this is the first nigga that made me want to feel like I could rip my, you know what I'm saying, my beater and shit. You know what I'm saying? It was staged, but yeah, he the only one that made me feel like I could ever do it. But th- my guy, man, I think he's, uh, I think he been tipping on that. CTE. See what my man's talking about. Throw more beers out. You want me to body slam somebody? You want me to body slam Kamala Harris? I said, do you want me to body slam Kamala Harris? You want me to drop the leg on Kamala? Is Kamala a chameleon? Is she Indian? Okay, I like it. Ow! I'm gonna get heat for that one, brother. That was not me, that was the beer's talk. See? Hey. 
<laughs> this motherfucker needs to be stopped. Uh, Somebody gotta stop me. Who in the fuck is putting Hulk Hogan in politics? Trump. Weak Trump. That weak ass move set. First of, all, first of all, you can't even body slam nobody, man. You had that some, weak ass move set. That whack ass leg drop. You had the weakest fucking finisher of all wrestling. He had and it the tore weakest up your move set. And it tore up your back, nigga. You had to go through all that. You can't even body slam nobody. How about how about I have Nino to body body slam Brooke? Brooke Hogan. How about that? Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll body slam Brooke. Hogan. Never mind. Hey, Vince McMahon, here it is. He gonna be like, God damn it, Triple H, I got a script you gotta do. That's, it's good shit. It's, real it's shit. crazy. I ain't gonna lie, like, he, that was so racist in so many, mo- in so racist, many ways. Bro. I'm saying, though, not even just against blacks, though. Because he like, ain't she an Indian? Bruh. <laughs> yeah, like you know what I'm saying? How? Like, like this, this how? how? Like he lost the crowd for real. You because they ain't they like what the fuck is you talking? What? Like what? Nah, but uh, listen, bro. It was the beer. He he knows exactly who he's talking to. He knows exactly who he's dealing with. And let's just face it, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> Maybe eighty percent of the Trumpies, they don't like people of the. Dare I say it? Yeah, go. What's the word? Negros. The Negros. The Negros. <laughs> they don't like the Negros. <laughs> this so, is, hey, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Beezy. And so, it's a woman at that. Like, why are you talking about body slamming a woman? What else the fuck hey, does he know? He a meathead. He don't know nothing else. Body slam- he been body slamming body shit for decades. <laughs> Narcissist. <laughs> this this the body, like, this, this, this Wayne the- Brady got to slam a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is real. Uh, is there a chance that he's like, He's going senile and he doesn't know CTE? who she is, and he yeah, thinks he that forgets. that's who he's hired to go with. That, that's yep. his opponent. Yeah. I'm a gonna chance leg drop her. Should <laughs> I drop the leg? You know how they say he doesn't older even people. know who he's talking about. He thinks it's a wrestling that's some match. Bullshit. You know how they say older people be out of touch with what's going yeah. on. He's one. Who the fuck's checking for Hulk Hogan? Hey. Who told? I want his Hall of Fame to be taken away. Who told Sorry. Donald Trump to go get Hulk Hogan to speak for him? They went and got the Obamas, and you went and got Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Brother. Hulk Hogan. Uh, want me to body slam Kamala Harris? Is she black? Is she Indian? He cut a uh, promo okay. on her. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. He cut a promo on her. He <laughs> he did, oh, no. He cut a promo on the vice president of the United States, bro. Like, this is why they are laughing at us, bro. Yeah, I'm everything. Real this dope. ain't nothing but a gang. You can have a C average and a be a felon, man. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do if you got the right <sighs> skin color and if you got the right amount of money behind you. Booker T was at home like, tell me. <laughs> he didn't just say that. Please, uh, no. <laughs> Not before you. What do you say? We coming for you. We coming for you, nigga. nigga. Uh, that no, nigga yeah. did <laughs> Sherry was like, it's okay. Yeah, you getting fired. <laughs> hey, I'm going to miss you. I'm so proud of you, but you going to jail. <laughs> You you getting Sherry yeah, was something. confused. She was like, <laughs> "You were supposed to say it." Like you know, we say wrestling down right. here, right? Yeah. <laughs> say wrestling. You you, go, you getting up out of here, boy? Yeah. All right, y'all. We gonna move on. We got one more around here. Uh, well, a couple more, a couple more. What's a couple more? This is a couple more. Oh. It's the block party, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, so. Brandon, Cloud you're getting more and more impatient. We're only 54 minutes in today. <laughs> <laughs> On this episode yeah. that's about to drop, we was at an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> and y'all like, it, it can't be that no more time. 30 more minutes? It gotta be uh, over. Not even 30 more minutes. What, 34? So, so no. my man, Uncle Luke, man, he cloud chasing, if you ask me. In today's definition and term, terminology of cloud chasing, I believe this is what that is. Uncle Luke says Ice Spice, Sexy Red, and Megan Thee Stallion owe him a check after he helped pave the way for provocative rap. Ice, I need a check from Sexy Red. All the fucking girls, Megan Thee Stallion, anybody that's running around shaking their ass. Male rap is on some shit. Right now, I'm sorry. The females are winning. They're doing everything that I did. I'm still waiting for these girls to send me a check. I need a check from Ice Spice, who turned her around. 
and and drop it in like it's hot and doo doo brownie. I need a check from her. I need a check from Sexy Red. Ah, that red, my friend. My man Stan. Shots out to Stan. Stan the man. I don't need a check from him. That's my dog. That's his record company. All the girls, Megan Thee Stallion, anybody that's running around shaking their ass, talking about, uh, Talking out that gas. On the record, this nigga out of y'all need to send me a check. He is walking. Send me a check. Just talking. stop by with the check and say thank you, Uncle Luke, for allowing us fighting, going to the Supreme Court, allowing us to be able to say what we're saying on the records, and we're whooping these men right now because we're doing our thing. That's gonna go viral. If they owe him a check. His freaky ass on my check Damn. too. After that song that he just played on by at the beginning of this one. This nigga said, I'm the cookie monster. He trying to pet. In real flesh. He to <laughs> <give me> your <laughs> panties. Hey, 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 talking about they owe you a check. And you know how I many other rappers owe you a check? Rest in peace to the one dude that just passed away. The uh, oh, uh B King. Shake that King, ass. Yep. So B like King. this music. They owe you with all these other dudes. And Them bitches don't even know who Uncle owe Luke you shit. is. Uncle Luke, you you started a label. It didn't go right. You sold it to them white folks. That's your fault. You got jumped in Players Club. <laughs> Me so horny. <laughs> <laughs> Me so if, horny to get if, your fat ass off. If they owe anybody a check, it's Lil' Kim. Man, because she was the beginning of all that little shit. Provocative yeah. ass shit. Man, just give that hold man. On. Wait, 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 wait. Let wait, that man wait, pop wait. his shit on, on your, one of y'all songs. Hold on, hold on. Lil' Kim won't pop him before Uncle Luke. I but what I'm saying is, talk about they're not side, modeling themselves the after side. Uncle Luke. Y'all ain't just here with that man. Say he had to go to the Supreme Court to fight to be able to put out that yeah, brand of say. music. No, respectfully, I'm not about so the court. Pay the dues. They were, they were fucking people on stage. Yeah, like pay the dues. I'm not. Can I say go, something go, real quick? Go, go what dudes need to be paid? Uncle Luke ain't no rapper. He he's a nigga. He's Boy, a hype he's man on a track. We will that, but he's not a rapper. He's, he's freaky little John. He's like Big Frida, but in a different form. Freaky Bro, little John. It don't matter what you consider him as. He's a legend. He is an innovator of that yes. brand of music. So because he went to court, you feel like everybody that makes nasty music should give him some money? No. So what the fuck are you talking about? What I'm saying, saying is, is that he is saying that because he knows he's not gonna get a dollar, but he is saying like, "Hey, y'all, can at least put my name, some respect on my name." No, he Thank said he want a check. Well, well, we all know that's not gonna happen. You can say you want a million dollars. Like, y'all heard what that nigga said at the very end of that video? Let's go viral. Now that's, that's gonna, gonna go viral. viral. That's yeah, all that nigga looking this for. This was clout. Like them said. young bitches don't even know who the fuck Uncle Luke is. Well, they should it's do that, that homework. Age. We we at that age. But homework, man, that fuck homework. that. We we got this shit without knowing who the fuck that old ass nigga is that was yelling on that song. Fuck all that shit. I wanna rock, I wanna rock, I I, I wanna rock. That's that's the shit though. I was just about to say. Now, the only thing that I can say that it may come out of it on his favor is if they do a Uncle Luke remix sample type shit. Yeah, fact. Then Daisy they better Dukes pay him. or some old shit Let like that. Get on this song, pay? man. Is, hey, is that's like freaky pay, shit. Though, like but I'm saying, if they sampling, sample, yeah, that's, that's the only. That's, that's, all, that's the only. That's the only thing. That's the only way I could think that he can really get an actual a check, bro. But I don't think they're gonna think of that. Is the do is the go ahead and do a set? Hey, man, y'all heard this shit first, man. On EH one, man, on the block party, man. First of all, I don't know if Sexy Red and Make the Style even gonna jump on the same track. You know what he should have did. Because it's not like he's not Uncle Luke. It's fucking Uncle Luke. True enough. For sure. King Freaky. You feel me? King What he should have did was he should have just reached out to all of them and told them. And to put them on the track. He could have did. He could have been on the hook. That's the thing, Nino. Sexy Red, pop that pussy. Sexy Red, pop but that. That's the thing, Nino. You hit it right on the nose. We are living in a time, y'all, that good publicity and bad, bad publicity is still publicity. He did that for a reason, just for us to get to talking about him exactly, right now. We're not talk about and him then maybe that. next minute, maybe JT, one of them, the Miami uh, city, city girls or somebody is going to be trying to hit him up yeah, they know to do the a sample. It's We are the city sheep. Motherfuckers out here, we're the sheep. These celebrities know what the hell they doing. I'm sure they done sample. Now I'm thinking about it. They done sample Sexy Red. I mean, uh, uh, Uncle Luke. Got the city girl ain't on this man. Who did? Uh, uh, the city girls. 
If I ain't mistaken, I think they sampled it. But he ain't named them, though. Yeah, because they don't already pay them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they, they is out of Florida. They is yeah, out of them, Florida. Let them breathe. I think they, yeah. they did. Let me yeah. Know. They didn't probably stayed at the mansion and then the Drake, time or two. Drake and French Montana sampled him. They Man. definitely did on that dude, Pop That Rose. Dude. Yeah, he did it. Congrats. You, <laughs> he's one old nigga that, come on, Brandon, he's one old nigga that understands the game. All right, you are right. You are right. City Girls, they song Face Down was exactly. a sample of Luke featuring two live crews, Face Down, Ass Up. You boom, boom, saying, boom, 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 uh, boom. So he knows what he's doing. Like he, he got it off. He got us talking. He definitely yeah. did. All right, man. So shout out to my, again, shout out to my brother, Diarco, man, who ain't here due to the fact that his lady's birthday is today. Again, Happy I hope, hope y'all are enjoying yourselves tonight or whatever. Uh, God bless my man y'all. posted this or whatever, and he said, hands down, this is the best episode. Uh, this is uh, some shit that uh, whoops. my man... Yeah, whoops, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to play this and shit. That's for BJ May. Yeah, yeah, he telling me... That's real, real. that's that. real. Listen, man, when we start cleaning up our communities, multi-billion dollar, trillion dollar companies is going to lose money, right? Mm. And they feed their families off of us killing each other. They send their children to school off of us killing each other. They live in mansions and, and drive on yachts off of us killing each other. The ambulance, the police officers, the pharmaceutical industry. When you get shot up and you got to take them perks and them pills, that's money. You see what I'm saying? That they losing when we stop killing each other. The ride to the ambulance, you get a hospital bill for that. They start losing money when we stop killing each other. You understand what I'm saying? The obituaries, the funeral homes, they start losing money. The lawyers that we paying millions of dollars to get us off this case, they start losing money hmm. when we stop killing each other. So you don't think it's somebody that's sitting in the back responsible for making sure that we keep killing each other so that they can keep eating? When you go to prison, each inmate, they make money, bro. Hmm. Off of the inmates up in there. They make money off of our free labor in prison, building stuff for them. You see what I'm saying? So you don't think it's people out here that's like, no, let me, let me promote this rapper talking about sliding on the ops. Let me promote you trolling these brothers for somebody that you done killed. Because the more you, you incite them to murder and kill, the more we eat. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Interesting. Open floor for the pod, man. Y'all thoughts? I don't think that was the best episode of Whoops. You don't? I mean, I'm with the, you know. The message. Stop the violence, for sure. Push the peace. Yeah, I'm with that, for sure, for sure. And he's 100% right. But I don't think it's going to too much put a dent in none of them businesses he was talking about. How so? Because hmm. people still going to get sick. People still going to go Facts. to the hospital. Yep. People still going, whether it's us killing each other. People still gonna start. Kid, they gonna keep. People, they gonna kill us. What fuck is you talking about? For <laughs> stop. People die every day. Dude. First of all, if we stop killing each other, that's a small part of unity. That's the biggest step right there. If we can stop killing each other, then that means that we can communicate with each other, and we can all formulate a plan and follow that plan. I don't all mean that just because he said stop killing each other. What? But I'm listening though. Hear me out, bro. <laughs> Let me cook. So once you bring unity. And people get together. There's nothing that you haven't heard before. There's Huey P. Mm -hmm. Black Panthers. But they don't want that, bro. Exactly. Just like I'm saying. So, yeah, it's somebody out there that's... Why you think ain't no love and even R&B no more? Like, you can't even listen to country and get a decent message no more. It's all about doing drugs, partying. Mm -hmm. It's just simple, bro. Like, <laughs> I cracked the code like five years ago. This shit is so simple, but... You don't see it because nobody, it's our perception. When you go down the highway, do you be thinking like, damn, every car I pass is a living person that has their own problems. That's why I Everything thought about going that. On. Yeah. Like, I thought about that. Like, it's crazy boy, as fuck to think about. It's a lot of people around me. Out there, Adderall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Really, you need know. Why do me like that? Twin. That's crazy. <laughs> Big bust. But now, nah, so. Shit, I endorse Adderall. What I'm saying is, is and we the only, <laughs> we the only race that don't come together. We don't spend with each other. Bro, we the only race. Where, have you ever heard a white person be like, hey, you white, but you ain't like, I need you to be pink and white. You you that kind of like off-white. Like, no. But you hear black people like, where you white skin? Hey, yo, dark ass can't fuck. Like, bro, that's crazy to me, bro. I, to piggyback I off of what you saying. I disagree. To piggyback off what you saying, it would be a large reduction in deaths if we quit killing each other because 
realistically, we killing us more than they killing us. Of course. But if we quit With killing drugs, us, they're every, gonna start killing us. That's every race though. It's just a simple fact yeah, that nah. it's just a simple fact that they want to show that that it's us on on the news and everything. The only time they show you that it, it's a, a boring day on the west side and start showing you shit on the east side is because it was a boring day on the west. They have programmed social media and and all this like news and everything to make us be programmed into thinking that we are worse and we are we are fucked up. So what does that do? That psychologically put put you in that mind frame to go out there and do shit because you've been programmed to believe I ain't shit. I ain't gonna never be shit. So, so what old boy let me just say this. What old boy was saying, I mean, I totally agree, but at the same time, as black people, when are we gonna stop? We already know what's in front of us and we know how the justice system is and everything. When are we gonna take accountability? Don't do the crime if you ain't willing to do the time. When we we already know the, that that the system food. is against us. When are we gonna change and stop blaming the man? When, when are we gonna clean do water, right? Clean food or clean living? We're not blaming the man. Right. Y'all talking about? I said that we kill each other more than they kill us. I'm not blaming, blaming the man, man for and nothing. That's, and that's every other race. Have y'all ever been but outside I'm not of y'all? Listen, own? but I'm not speaking for no other race outside of the, the one attack, I belong to. The mob. Attacks, I'm solely speaking on us. But again, you can't. I mean, we can speak on us, but unless you've been around a whole demographic of other races. Forever you're going to think that, oh, we're just so fucked up because I'm only worried about us. No, it's other races out there. I've been around other hey, races. We never said that. Giants so whack each other We never day. said you that, hear though. Me? We're not, we so never listen. said no, nothing about another said, race. Well, BZ was saying that we're the, what, what was the comment you said? We the worst about what? We don't support each other. This and that's, I, I don't agree with that. So, I'm, so. I do. Right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, hold on. So, I'm a, so, so. for food on, trucks and all that shit. Hold, hold on. So, kind of let me, so let me, so I want to, I, what I got to say is going to tie you and him to, in, in a knot, right? Out of every race. Granted, as a whole, we are the one race that does not support each other. You see, you don't, when when we are, by us being over here, right, we don't see Asians coming over here beefing with each other. We don't see, we don't. Mm. We don't. We don't see too many Mexicans over here beefing with each other, though it happens. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. But we are the ones that they put on a big screen that shows the most dysfunction. Now, to piggyback what she was saying, we are not the only race that is fucked up. Nobody ever said because, that, bro. No, I'm just, that's, I, I, again, but that's I, not the I, argument. On, I didn't say it was, brother. I'm just it. going off of what, again, I'm going off of what the queen said. Yeah, I micro dosed in certain things that so we don't support saying, each other. So what I'm saying is, is like, okay, how is gangsters in our community is gangsters <clears throat> in every month? Is, Hold on, is, so, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Listen, bro, we've had a conversation where we talk about how our dollar leaves the black community the moment we spend it. Meanwhile, other uh, cultures, yes, sir. they shit circulate at least seven times before it leaves their community, bro. Respectfully. That, that shows you there that we don't support each other. I agree with you what on that. I don't. Dis- I do not disagree with that. But what circles are y'all in? What are you talking about? We what don't c- own shit. No, what so circles I- are y'all in? When you are around certain circles of people, I'm not going to be up in the soda bass and Arlington Course trying to be cool because that's the circle that's going to keep you in that mind frame. I'm going to say this. I'm so happy that even though I owe a goddamn loan, I'm so happy I went to college. I'm so happy that I did work in a job center because I started meeting different races of people and become and started becoming friends and acquaintances with certain people and started getting into their spaces and started networking with them. And it showed me a whole different side. I'm talking about Mexicans, Africans, Somalians, with all of them. Mm-hmm. And it showed me that... Just because I live on the west side of, of fucking Dayton does not mean that my life consists of that. Now, Brandy, Quint, can up. I can I hold on real quick, y'all? I'm about to, can I pause? I know, can, hold on. I know can I pause you right black there? People that left, hold on. Before you can I, pa- can I pause you right there real community. quick? Can I ba- can I pause you right there real quick? You're making a group of people. You're speaking from an individual standpoint. This is your experience, love. But us. 
as a black people, as a whole, we do not support each other. We do have a crab in the bucket mentality compared to white people, compared to Asian people, compared to any other culture. We are. I we do. We are not in support. Now we trying to push the narrative on that. I thought the same. I'm agreeing with that. But when it comes to indiv- what your experience is with individuality and educating yourself, you can't speak that for everybody I because thought, everybody don't have that. Scrooge, when I it comes to black same. people, I thought the same thing about black people until I started being around black people that wanted the same thing as me. But how? Start but there's a minority. There's, there's a minority. There. That's what he's there's a minority. There. I'm not saying that there's not. But, but there is a minority a compared to the people that. That is already brainwashed and then refuse to think like that. You have to think how hard. If it's a percentage, like this. Hold on, well, listen. If you think like that, percentage wise, how hard do you have to work to make somebody to, or to get somebody to see your point of view? Think about how many people don't see shit how you see it. You're a minority. You and those one people who think like that or who have been successful, you're a minority to the people who you have to convince to think otherwise. It's more like that out there. It's, it's more like that. I had to help girls even get some government, some government money just for them to do a two week CNA class or a four week phlebotomy class. As long as you, if you can give somebody an opportunity, a stepping what stone. What does that have to do with us talking about, about keeping to... the money inside of the circle seven times and then taking it out? Like, we don't know how to invest. We it's don't invest people, with each it's other. people doing two, that. Two hundred dollars CNA. Like, what are we talking about? Listen, we're talking statistics here. You, you and don't you're know speaking statistics. individual. That's not that's not the statistics. I, okay. I I respectfully disagree. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I mean, we can agree to disagree. So I, 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 can, up, I know so pe- that's cool. Like, no, like yeah, that's I'm what I'm saying. But you are people. only speaking on what you know. We, you're not speaking on the majority. You are the minority. We just said that three times that you didn't click. Like, come on, gang. What, no. what are we talking about here? You gotta I hear clicked. us. I'm no, not you agreeing. gotta hear us to to go back and forth though. Like, you can't be a wild and we just keep. I work at a library around successful people that that's also trying to do sad businesses and everything. It's up to you to surround yourself self around people that want something if you ain't then you're going to okay, be around okay, the soda okay, bass okay, people okay. and that's how you're going to have your mentality so, on what do the so, soda period. you think it's not good people hey, that can make hey, money in the soda bass so listen listen listen, 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 listen so, so hold on so so hold on listen 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 hey, <laughs> chill out chest, bro <laughs> We go respectfully agree to disagree, man. Yeah, we just gonna go to get to the next topic man because that shit is juicy and what the fuck yeah, like, so, um, on to some funny shit. Let's try to get on some funny shit. We gonna put this, put ourselves in a scenario. No bushing, no bushing, no bushing, no bushing, let's go. Someone invites you out to chill. Right. You out there and six other people are in attendance. hmm Good vibes, conversations are good. You have one drink that you sipped on the entire time. The bill comes. Your bill is 1380. Now, when I say 1380 people, I mean $1,000, $380. They want to split it eight ways. My question to y'all is what do you do? I got five. I'm telling the waitress or waiter, whoever, hey, I got this little drink right here. Go ahead and bring me my little check. <laughs> Don't even put me in that split. That's yeah. on them. Because fuck that. I told you niggas not to buy the crab legs. <laughs> and if that's Can the case, my, I need my hey. bill, please. Yeah, facts. My bill. Bill please. for one? Mm-hmm. This for this. What, it, it depend on what I got. Because it Were might be like. Are we drinking Louis the 13th? right or. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. Julio. Hold on, wait. Y'all know me. I motherfucking get up through on your ass. I ain't gonna lie. I was just getting ready to say, say this. Ain't nobody I got the bleed about this I motherfucker. He's hot. Bathroom. I'm not going nowhere when Nina. He hot. Me and bro getting up through. He's starting to get comfortable talking about it. No gimmick, no He's starting to get comfortable talking about it. This, hey, and he's doing it more often. Hey, man. He's a runner. He's a track star. We need to check on this nigga. <laughs> on oh, everything, man. Me, I don't care. I come up to you, dry. hey, hey, lady. You, you remember me? I ordered three T. You put that on. You separate that. You separate that. Take that off their bill. You remember my face? How many Tito's did I order? All right, that's what I want. Hey, Chuck. What everybody eats come out on episode 100. It's gonna be 
everybody eats for free. Yo, <laughs> 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 <Damn, laughs> everything. You Catching a nigga <laughs> pushing the deuce on their ass. You, hear me? you, you gotta hear me? run if you have to. I don't need the, the best. The, I'm the, not doing that. The best bet is don't let me and Scrooge make eye contact. Do not. Because nope. it's, it's over take. with. It's all it's gonna take. <laughs> all right, man. So on this part of the segment, man, I want to take the time to acknowledge our black people, man, those who have been successful and inventors who do not get no shine, no light. Uh, mm-hmm. This topic right here, man, is meet the black inventors who in, who developed the first bio robotic arm controlled by Brain Signals, which aims to empower over a million disabled people in Kenya. The uh, the the story reads: Two Kenyan inventors, inventors David Gathu and Moses Kenyu Kenyua. I believe that's how it's pronounced, have created the world's first bio-robotic arm operated by brain signals. Their groundbreaking invention made from salvaged uh, electronics uh, aimed to empower over a million disabled people in Kenya. With the right support, this innovation could transform lives worldwide. Yeah, these niggas think this they they think this shit sweet until Doc Ock pop out that motherfucker. What kind of coming, bro? Hey, what kind of is Ock here? Doc Ock pop out that motherfucker he angry tried. as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that that was supposed to be like a third world country. Boy, nah, hey. they hey, got. Why do America be lying like that? Bro? They got hey. vibranium over there, hey. bro. <laughs> <laughs> they got vibranium. Hey, Doc Ock will pop up with you vibranium know, listen, arm. Nah, and, and it make a lot of sense too because, like, you know, they're not trying to monopolize the health over there. So it's like, oh yeah, we want you to be better. That's to what we. Y'all realize? So, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, let me go, no, the, go ahead. Go ahead. Y'all realize that this is basically the first step to androids, right? Droids. About the second or third step. Mm. Nigga, yeah. you can move on right with decision. brain, goddamn. Yep. The, the first the, step was when they was making the brain. It's think called, about it's called it. AI. Think so, about it though. But it, this is a step further. You could just be reduced to a brain, you said, and you can control an AI with your skin on it. See what I'm saying? So that would be- I wanna, I wanna enlighten and, and, and educate us. If this is not something that has not been already spoken or informed to any of us, Dang. right? In all due respect, we are technically only using 10% of oh, yeah. our brain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you think about the centuries before us or whatever, we have been extremely dumb the fuck down. If Ooh. we're only using 10% of our brain. And if you think about how life has been structured thus far with 10% percent of our brain what the hell do you think you would have been able to do with a hundred percent of your brain have you ever seen akira no anime no fly it's called akira you ever seen the anime it looked like a dude on a big ass futuristic red motorcycle you probably seen the fly well his best friend they end up doing something to him in a science experiment and as the anime it's a movie as the anime go on he unlocks more and more of his brain usage. And when he got to 100%, this motherfucker had telekinesis. He was moving shit. He blowing I, got, I think uh, this movie was loosely based off that anime. It's called Lucy. 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 Yeah. Yep. That bitch turned into a fucking flag. Yeah, on everything. So that's why I'm saying what I'm saying. Like, again, think about what we're able to do this bitch did yeah. all that and turned into a fucking flash drive you ain't never seen this cover before oh, no nah, but i'm just saying though think again with 10 percent of our brain think about how we think about technology is right now we like oh my god this is amazing this is woo but that's what 10 percent of our brain think about it you would be like so if we have 90 percent more of that that would be me bro ain't no age <laughs> i can unlock and move this door Without having to get up or do anything, I don't have to have a car or anything in that nature. I'm gonna be wherever the fuck I need or will to be. Y'all need to see. I have a hundred percent of my brain. I had usage to the. This is think again. Of, think about Neo uh, again. Think about it like in the this. Matrix. Do he make Basically, it sound obtainable, don't he? Yeah. Think about it like this, right? And I just and it's crazy. Wake I had just like broke I this analogy karate. down to somebody else. Show me. Your body is from the earth, right? So you have you have elements of what you come from. Your body is eighty five percent water. 
What's that movie? It's what they tell you, right? Mm -hmm. So think and think of this: electricity. We, electricity is free. The Earth is an electric grid. Hmm. This is where you come across and you can test test somebody. Be like, oh, you shocked me. There's an electric current that just transferred right you there. You can't see. Yeah, maybe this goes back to where we just seen mm -hmm. two weeks ago or something to where the two people touched the car and started the car. Yeah. Hey. What's so that? apparently, the ten percent of our brain thing is a myth. Oh, is wow. it? Been smart. <laughs> According to fMRI scans, even simple tasks uh, activates almost all the brain. Yeah, like oh. Well, that's a now that is some education. Now no. we've been hit with some true facts from truck hey, in the back. Up. Goddamn truck, from truck, truck, from truck in the back. Truck truck in the truck <laughs> this whole episode, <laughs> forgive me, y'all. We at the block out. party. I'm I fucked wanted, up. I wanted to mention that movie because y'all yeah. y'all mentioned something. Else. What was that movie with uh the dude from um <laughs> the Hangover? Limitless. Limitless. Yes. How did you know I was about to see? What the fuck is wrong with you? Too. You are uh, Magneto. What you was? Because that uh, movie was weak too. Xavier. Xavier. <laughs> Why you reading my man? Oh, this yeah, shit too deep. I just, Come on. Hey, yeah. This was going on right here. How did you know I was about to say that? I'm though. a movie buff. What about? Have you seen a movie called Duel? I have not. Tell I need me to my go stay. I forgot to watch that. I don't mean mm -hmm. Duel as in. Tell me my future, nigga. Oh shit! I don't know. Hold on, Chuck. What you got for me? You got you about to say <laughs> something. What you got back there for me? Was it when that <laughs> movie that Senseless thing. about the same thing? Senseless. Senseless? No, oh, sir. You talking about that's the movie with Marlon, Marlon Wayans? Wayans? Yeah, he took the no. He took, took so he took a drug that it, that heightened his senses. That that's had nothing to do. It reminded me of Flubber. No, sir. I don't think that's the same. Fun fact: In the Fairfield Mile. No, you you right. I was they got a I'm store wrong. in there called Akira. It's named after that anime. It's like a Japanese little store so when you go in there and you see it know that's where they came from okay man that nigga live down the street from the dating mall <laughs> <laughs> mm, what, mm -mm. what they got to do with it he ain't going to the fairfield i don't know why not the dating mall trash fairfield is trash shit no. fairfield yeah. wasn't fairfield selling air force ones for than years than yeah, who, by, who wearing air force ones i'm talking about years ago malls. they was not even selling them like when it when they was in what do you say the food, food court gets my malls. money That's the food it. court is the bomb at fairfield right. yes it is who's shopping at mall <laughs> niggas don't shop online i bought Take a stripper pole huh? <laughs> yeah fairfield yeah spencer's they spencer's is off the chain too. you on a pole go bulls <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. Well, listen, we got a few minutes yeah, left of this shit. That. Listen, we're going to wrap this shit up. Right? Uh, we're going to go through this topic right here, and then we're going to let Lady Danielle Brandy gonna, uh, lead us off with the topics, and, I mean, with the comments on behind this. But the topic of this right here is woman details how if a man really likes you. Oh, uh, yeah. To know the secret to finding out if a man really like you and no it's not him taking you on an expensive date and spending a lot of money no it's not how much he calls it's not even how much time he spends with you because sometimes they be bored and they just want a space filler okay the real test is if he comes into your life and tries to solve a problem for you that man that likes me came by my house yesterday because we were going to do a little day date and as I was walking out of the garage, he noticed that my garage light didn't illuminate. It didn't come on because the bulb been out. Who knows how long? It's never worked since I've had the house. And as soon as he seen it, he was like, your light don't work. I'm like, no, I ain't thinking nothing about it. Ladies, y'all want to know the secret? He go over there, pop the little thing down, put a little bulb out. We're going to stop and get a light bulb because you need a light in your garage. That man is going to come into your house and he's going to start seeing stuff. Like, why is this smoke detector beeping? Let me get up here and fix it. See, y'all be thinking that it's the amount of money that they spend. Y'all think that these men like you because they want to have sex with you. That's why they always want to be around you. No, 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 no. A man who comes into your life and tries to solve a problem without being prompted. You didn't even have to say, hey, can you look at this light? No. A man who really like you, he's going to come in there, he's going to fix that thing. Could be anything. I'm trying to tell you, men, if I'm telling the truth, yeah. let me hear it in the comments. Can I say something? Mm. One thing that I can't stand is for a woman to try to speak for a man. <sighs> let, let me say this, because mm. I've been around the block. <laughs> it's no secret. <laughs> and I will play, I used to play Mr. Nice Guy. 
to get in and crack your back and bust a move on you. And, and that light fixed and I the fixing the light wasn't even for her. That was to make sure he could see when he leave about this motherfucker in the middle of the night. Hater, Ooh, alert. Whiskey. Hater alert. You better shut up. Why, yeah, why you say that, Brandy? Alert. Brandy, why you say alert. that? Hold it's on, men on. telling you how hold men on. think. Hold on, hold on. So, so, hey. so, hold on, hold on. So let's so I, I, no, I, 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 want, hold, I, I wanted question. to start. I wanted to, that's why I wanted to start with her first because she's the only female on the on the pod. I wanted to get her opinion first. We here now, baby. I want to know how is us men telling you how men think hating you looking like little woody right now What's no. the, i don't recall that my show. <laughs> you said my show. when i just told you that, that men will, again. when i just told you that men will be nice to get in and to fuck just so they can go about their business you said hater you alert ain't coming and no, I'm no asking, hold on you asked me to yes, ask you a go question ahead. Go ahead. How, how can you Tell men how men think. Once we sit here and tell you how we think, why is it hating? Cause said, baby, hater alert, hater alert. Because, baby, I've been there, done that, baby. At the end of the day, ain't no nigga coming over there and fixing no light, no light fixture, this and this and that, all because, no, you care about that woman. Changing the light bulb? I don't know. That sounds, you'll bring her that some sounds weed. a lot easier you'll bring than a some bottle. shit I've Brandy. been through. You'll bring, a bottle, you'll bring her some weed, but to really take your time out to we're change your really light bulb? something. Brandy, we're men no, sitting here No, not change light bulb. I'm talking about change. That we would do that. I'm telling you. We will play that role. Just the fuck. I'm telling you this. A guy. This not hating. This is me telling you how the world works. How she just got duped. No, no, no. She out on the internet bragging yeah. like you my nigga. Nah. Nah. So this nigga changed nah. the light bulb. Why you still saying no? Bragging. We're sitting here telling you. That's how we get down. Probably because I've had. Okay, this is when I was. In See, this is you talking about this individual standpoint. No, again. but I've always dealt. When I was not with Russell and we had our breaks, I've always dealt with men like that. I've always dealt with a se- a, a certain caliber of men like right, that. Right, you love. But they, you didn't continue you. to deal with I'm him to find out they, that he they, wouldn't shit. They would say things like, well, well, one of them, he'd be like, Okay, shoot. Why you why you uh, ain't got no no gas and you say, um, your your car need to be this, da da da. Okay, I'll be over there. Like I'm used to dealing with that that type of caliber of men. Everybody's not. So again, you're speaking from an individual standpoint Listen, about a group of if people. If you're putting gas in your car, fixing a tail light, replacing a light bulb Pan in bills. a garage, come on, bro. No. Tricks, do, tricks, do no, tricks do that. Tricks do that. But no, oh hold on. Wait, 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 wait. She said it don't matter on that video. Trick. She said the, the money the, yeah, don't the matter. Money don't don't no matter. amount of time nigga. that a nigga spend with. It's about trick. when a nigga try to fix a problem in your life. And that's what she was saying. Anything about being a trick what i told you is that if i will tell you anything there ain't too much more i mean i ain't gonna go crazy but come on putting a fucking light bulb in a garage is too easy like i have jumped through hoops to get some toy some so can i so can i so so let me so let me so, 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 so let me so let me so let me so let me so a light bulb in a garage <laughs> being, being right here with you right let me tie it in i got in. a box of light bulbs <laughs> in the car right now let me tie, now. Let me tie it in let me, them, tie it in let me 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 tie it in right Damn. Yeah. Hold on, wait. I want to know what Chuck. Go ahead, go ahead. You Chuck. agree with what Chuck? I agree with you guys. Yeah. Like, like he just said, I done way crazier things than some chores. Thanks. Would y'all babysit the kids too? <laughs> Man, yeah. done that. Now. I just told you the little nigga got caught with a Xanax. Oh, yeah, for well, sure. Of course. When I lived in Northland for two weeks. For the Brand, when Brand, I lived in me, Northland for two weeks. Real quick. Let me ask you something real quick. How many times in life have you been nice to somebody because you're genuinely a nice person? And they thought you liked them. A lot. I get yeah. So what makes you think <laughs> that a nigga won't act like he's Mr. Charming to fuck? I tell ugly people they beautiful. That's cool. And now niggas, ugly dude is do inboxing too. you and won't leave Come you the on, fuck alone. Niggas, niggas do too. On niggas, on that's why niggas. you. That's why you see some of them ugly ass females. You be like, who the fuck hitting that? That one nigga. And that nigga got. You know that how you got to. You know how your brothers giddy. put you on okay. the shit, so you don't gotta. So, do, this is your brother telling you, you shit. niggas get like that. Okay, Brandy. so do y'all think? Okay, so fellas, do y'all think? Damn, now. Nah, 
some thirsty bitches out here, especially a big mm-hmm. girl. Go ahead, say it. Mm-hmm. I might Go know. Ahead. Go ahead. I might know who you're talking about. Do y'all think a girl is really going to... Go through the it just will. There. Hell yeah. Go through the way. What did yeah. you say? Come on, you got my full yeah, come attention. Come on, yeah, come on, because we got say, one more topic to get meal, to. Make you lunch and all this time. Bro, no. hell yeah. Hey, ain't know me for eight hours and ain't doing yeah. all this. You hear me? Oh, I hate now, you what I, the kids melatonin, like damn, hey, you don't need to know I, my last what name. What I want what I wanted what I wanted to tell <laughs> what I wanted to tell you was this though. It's a standard with a lot of females. Because I ain't doing this. And there's levels to this shit. And a lot of females come across a lot of bum ass, skimmy ass niggas. So the first time you come across a nigga that did something different than the nigga prior to, you're gonna look, be looked at totally different. Oh, he fixed my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the nigga, the, you feel I me? Never yeah. had that. The, 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 nigga, the, nigga, the, nigga, the nigga before, the only thing he did was Why he texted me. Like he came and smoked the blunt and we fucked and I ain't never heard from the nigga again. The next nigga that I had talked to, he came through, he took my trash out, he helped me wash a dish. He he changed my light bulb. He and even <laughs> motherfucking helped me. He even met me in the morning and walked my son to the bus stop. This nigga is phenomenal. I love this nigga. I ain't no other nigga like him. I'm going to suck his man. dick backwards. I'm not. She going to do all. You know what I'm saying, though? It's levels to the shit. And a lot of females come across a different type of niggas. Ooh, different levels, so when different you, devils. So, so when you, so when you, so, on, so when a nigga didn't, me, when a nigga didn't did something that another nigga ain't never did before, he's going to always look different. Same thing with a female. You when right. if I, if I'm dealing with a fee, listen, a lot of females I done dealt with, I got locked up, them bitches left me in jail. When I got with my ex, that bitch bonded me out. I loved her forever. I don't know what the fuck. I don't give a fuck what I do, bitch. I love the fuck out of her. Okay, okay, let's reel it back. Let's reel listen. It back. Same yeah. difference. We was going, Mike, Tyson, you start All right, but let me tell you something. I know, I'm just when saying. you know a nigga thing. like you sure. is when he's willing to put up with the bullshit that you come with. Facts. That's when you know a nigga like you. And pay yeah. somebody. That part. Yeah, what? Not that, What'd she say? That That's myth. <laughs> <laughs> that's a myth. You no, know, I'm, I'm playing too because, no, for real, I do, yeah, you won't have to treat and all that, but I'm, I'm also a giver too. But as a, no, I am, no, no diddy. Don't do that. Don't mm. do that easy. I'm, I'm also a giver too, as a woman. Like I, I, my love language is also giving as well. <laughs> Stop it. Next subject. Come on, wrap this. You I know what. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Uh, 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 Telling us so. Telling us so. She said I'm, I'm a giver. Russell. <laughs> he messing with me. Russell. She said I'm a giver. You see that too? Oh. So listen, so listen, so listen. Y'all saw it. We at the end of the this end motherfucker, man. Listen, mm-hmm. man. This is the old block party, man. I, I I appreciate everybody tuning in or whatever. Uh, I'm going to be taking a heinous. Is that what I'm doing? No, bro. That no. Heinous is a... Is like, <laughs> what the fuck? A hyenas. You know what I'm saying. A hyenas. You know what I'm saying. Oh, T. This is keep this shit funny. This keep this shit going. You know what I'm saying. I don't know. Am I... Am, 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 Listen, am, okay. This is gradual. I just want to... I just want to... I want to put, right. put it out there so the people will know. So this is graduation day. Okay. Yep. Bro has been on the pod. He know how to run a pod. He knows how to articulate mm-hmm. and to hold a conversation. And now it's time for us to go into development for Simply Complicated. Period. Period. For those Period. who don't know. Okay, go ahead. Go oh, ahead. We're going go to get put up. Uh, yeah, put big up round of applause. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. Hell of a graduation. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know. That nigga said clappy out. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yes. Give me mines while I'm here. Give me mines yeah. while I'm nah, here. Nah, for sure. It, I feel like it's Simply <laughs> Complicated is going to be one of them ones. Have you figured out what, how you want to take your show? Like, do you want to have, like, a guest? I mean, like... A- um. So I will have guests on there. I will have uh, guest appearances or whatever. You know what I'm saying? What's the format? Uh, we get into, now we're getting too deep into yeah, it. Oh, we my God. I thought we were getting the deep into it. Everybody's got know. opinions. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> 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 yes. So, it's, you know, it's, it's still in development, but I, what, I, what is going to be going on is I'll be taking an absence or whatever to get Simply Complicated up and running and up and going. And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, once, it's success, once it is successfully where it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, then y'all will see the old black nigga on hey, Everybody Has One Again. But until then, this will be my last show. Uh, with that being said, Brandy Danielle, talk to me, baby. What you got going on? 
I ain't got nothing going on but pimping and pimping. Well, pimp on. Be a pimp, pimp if you a giver, baby. Man, damn. You know what? Well, she was about, she to, she was about to put out the dick and flame your ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, I forgot she had the dick. Yeah, she got the yeah, dick yeah. over she there. Got the she got the dick. The dick. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you ain't gonna talk to me, baby. Oh uh, shit, you know, football season. Period. Back to that. Uh Pickerington coming in this to this week. Uh-huh. Yeah, come on, bro. Chill out. We gone. Other than that, I just want to talk to you. Bro. That's what's over, bro. On? What's yeah, up? Let me hear you. Nah, no. I hear the, what's the question? No, I got it. When's the next time we can see shoot the face? I was about to ask bro that, but I seen him over there running. You know, I'm about to, you know, about to go ahead. Get drive that shit in motion. Yeah, what you got? Shoot the face. Got a fade done, by the hey, way. Facts. Don't they leave. Don't leave that. I'm, I'm about sitting to run on it. Fade. Period. 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 Nino, talk to me. On it. I got a tinkle on the toilet. I ain't got oh, nothing. Lord. I ain't got nothing going on <laughs> but some working, Period. some content creating, and some great debating every Wednesday. Hey, here, dude. Talk to me, Bezo. Hey, so look, man. He said great debate. Six days a week at Popeye. That shit killing me. But Ooh. so I'm doing that. If if not this check, most definitely next check. I'm gonna have my whole setup ready for the online game and streaming. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then when I do that, I'm, I might go ahead and do the soft launch for. Statistically speaking, which Down, be. Easy. but yeah, yeah, let's yeah. not rush that because that's a lot on my plate. Only having a couple hours a day to you know what I mean. So to do anything, huh? you feel me? One hour a day. Um, <laughs> I <laughs> also would like to niggas. see. Who are <laughs> these niggas <laughs> near me? I would like to see uh my niggas on the game, man. We was talking about doing college. That ain't kind of paying out mostly on my behalf. And I'm sorry about that. I wasn't good at that. I didn't feel confident. But man. 2K? Yeah. Call of Duty? My nigga. Let's go. Oh, oh, let's, you want to rush him until he says Call of Duty. And, 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 and I'm down. telling you right now, I want to tell y'all right now, I can't wait man. to do goddamn it content for this Wukong game. Period. Uh. Chuck, talk to me, baby. What you got back there? What you got going on, Chuck? Talk to me, man. <laughs> Come on, Chucky. You, <laughs> yeah, you on blast. You on the blast, boy. Oh, <laughs> What's yeah, going on? You okay? Yeah. Huh? What's you going okay? on, Chucky? Oh, yeah, 100%. He said, I'm here just so I don't get fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What you got going on? It's going to be Friday um, in the morning, Chuck. Editor. I'm going to send, uh. send an email out to Skittles and see if, if they're going to come through with their part of their sponsorship since everybody's eating Skittles on the pod. Damn, I, know right. Period. 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 I know that's right. Period. I know that, man. Right. Yeah, keep us in the loop. Shout out to Chuck, man, because he's the reason why we with motherfucking high tea yeah, right now Chuck. jumping this shit. You know what I'm saying? So Chuck be on this shit, man. Me All personally, right. I ain't really got nothing going on, man. It's more content, more music coming along, man. Be looking out, man, for a uh, video for uh, the song that I played earlier, is, which is called For Her. And um, I got a feature really coming with Coogee that's coming out really soon, uh, coming out soon, too, man. That's a, oh. that's a sneak peek nobody didn't know nothing about. Okay. Uh, but leaving out of here, man, it's only right, you know what I'm saying? We, it's an old black party. It's only right. It's only right. I got one more for y'all before we leave out of here, man. And we rocking out the old block, man. It's called Switch On. Who did that? Aha! Uh-huh. Hey, it's that motherfucking old block, nigga, man. And hey, y'all know what the fuck going on, nigga. Big Udi shit, nigga. Yo, YBH. Huh. Told these pussy ass niggas, man. They don't wanna and if you didn't know, you now tuned into the number one podcast coming out of Ohio, oh, goddammit. Yeah, boy, I came up off the bag. Corner popping niggas for no reason, jacking niggas cause we bored. First pack at the me king, meet me at the corner store. Okay. What you need and what you want, and them numbers is real low. Let's Serving go. nothing less than quarters. Hold up, buddy, no, I'm a dog, bitch. Hit on with that ball shit. They know when this dog hit, they end up in dog shit. Think we plan walking down, hit his body, watch his soul live. God damn it, my city got all these bodies, they be wild. I'm surrounded by them hustlers and grave diggers. I'm talking patience off their man's abuse and painkillers. I rep my city, I'm so dating, cut he don't play with me. I'm Seven four to the world blowing, that's on David. Skr, skr, all in traffic for that cabbage. I'm a savage, green, white. Got the race, turtle, Harris King. Sleep, that's what I'm thinking. Slept so much in prison. If I bleed, these niggas might catch me slipping, huh? So I stay moving, I stay plotting, I stay booming. Boy, I got a pack, I stay strapped. Don't think I won't use it. This ain't cap, I ain't grabbing. It's more than just music. Most of these niggas' bitches was make up. I see straight through it. I came up off the band where we grinding off the corner, popping niggas for no reason, jacking niggas cause we bored. First Pack at the me king, meet me at the corner store okay. What you need and what you want and them numbers is real low 
serving nothing less than quarters. Hold up, buddy, know I'm a dog, bitch. Hit on with that ball shit. They know when this dog hit, they end up in dog shit. Think we plan walking down, hit his body, watch his soul live. Got them in my city, got all these bodies, they be wild. What they plan for my hood, they claimed a lot of bodies. Murder in my heart, I numb the pain with all these narcotics. It's all in my lungs, double cups, still sipping out the bottle. Switch and reach, I whoop your ass, boy, like I was your mama. Elbows with some solid niggas, these young bulls will put you up. Both parents died last year, so you know I give no fuck. My whiskers off a master spin, that suit up, take you, tie you up. They know I rip that gangsta shit from the band, I'm gon' throw it up. Why these niggas acting like they with it when pretending this? Saying they a suck, but we all know who the victim is. Disrespected, we grab them switches, then burn them britches, kid. NBA, CDA, you know we with them swimmers, bitch. Fuck the band, what we grinding off the corner, popping niggas for no reason, jacking niggas cause we bored. First pack at the me king, meet me at the corner store. What you need and what you want, and them numbers is real low. Serving nothing less than quarters. Hold up, buddy, know I'm a dog, bitch. Hit on with that ball shit. They know when this dog hit, they end up in dog shit. Think we plan walking down, hit his body, watch his soul live. Got them in my city, got all these bodies, they be wild. Man, y'all already know the fuck's going on, nigga. It's big booty around this bitch, nigga. It's O block or no block, nigga. And yeah, you already know, nigga. Ten toes down in this bitch, nigga. Ain't no flawless on my name, nigga. Check my resume, bitch ass, nigga. I do this shit for fun, nigga. I do this shit cause I want to, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas just getting by, sucker. Hey, you know I'm a dog, bitch. Hey, can I yeah. still get when my writer credits? When this dog here, you get hit with this dog shit. I'm not gonna lie. Can I? Can I still get my writer credits on that? First Joe, now Beezy. <laughs> Hey man, listen man. Oh, real quick, man, because I didn't do this early, man. Can I get a moment of silence for the competition? All right, fuck y'all, man. Everybody, hey. look at the camera and tell them, man, when the next time y'all gonna see them, huh? In, In a, a minute, minute boy. boy. Take it easy, hope.